Hi, I'm Timberland Sams. I am a native New Orleanian who is a mother, a daughter, um, a sister, um, and foremost, a black woman. Uh, the overturn of Roe had a huge impact on me because I remember um, my reproductive talk. I mean, uh, Roe versus Wade, that ruling that set precedence for women um, as a whole. And I can remember my mother, um, we were raised in the Church of God in Christ, which is a very spiritual, religious space where they have very strict guidelines. And there was a conversation that what came up about sexuality. Um, and my mom said something that has stuck with me all my life, that God is a God of choice. He gives you free will. And that, in addition to the idea of what America democracy means, always were like pillars for me. Um, and so when the overturn of Roe happened, it was so like heartbreaking. It was almost like the dismantling of the work that was more than just about abortion rights or the, um, the pro-choice. It was more than these cliche words that we use, but it was me having to explain to my little girl, my daughter, how someone who has no clue about who she is or her life experiences get to decide what happens with her body. Like the, the freedom and the will that God gives you can be easily taken away from you by a man through law. And so that was, it was, it, it was a mixture of emotions. It was frustration, it was hurt, it was anger. And I'm still trying to look for the relief. I mean, you know, we talk about these presidencies um, in our legal space as though it was years and years ago, but this was only 50 years ago. And so the idea that it took 50 years for us to get there, well, it took hundreds of years for us to get there. It, it took 50 years for them to dismantle it. And it also set precedents of other things that could come. Um, you know, as much as people think Roe versus Wade is only about women, it's not. It's, uh, you know, before Roe versus Wade, women couldn't get credit cards. And, you know, it was like simple things that we take for granted in my generation. But um, I am determined that my daughter knows that her body is her choice. And so I am in this fight for the long haul. Um, I am going to use my voice to actually activate other women to know that we are here and we're not gonna be moved by a man's decision. And I know that sounds, so, <laughs> that sounds so harsh, man's decision. But yeah, I want us to, I think that this is an opportunity for us to actually um, come together like so many other instances where rulings have changed the, the quality of life and the democracy that we know. It's our bodies and it's our choice.